<laughs> Good morning all, it's a uh, very early start today, it's just gone 6 o'clock uh, and heading down to Raven's car. Um, it's uh, not going to necessarily be the best day, it's windy as you can probably already hear and uh, the rain is forecast for later so I'll do what I can with the filming uh, but uh, it might just be one of those sort of days. Um, so I'll see you down there. Just down onto the beach at Raven's car. Uh, very windy, very wet very wave filled and you can see all the sea foam everywhere around uh, but if we can find some rocks between all the foam like down there we'll have a look see standard reminder triple SI so things like this hildy in the bedrock you cannot dig them out it is all protected so please leave things in the bedrock alone there will be plenty of stuff in the loose rocks to pick up uh, I'd love to say that the weather is the reason I've not been filming much, there just hasn't been much to see so far, but nice Grammo multi-block with a couple of decent sized ones in there. Might try and break at least some of this rock down uh, and see what else is in there. Yeah, something a bit different, so you can see hopefully these little nodes along the outside of the Salmonite keel, so it's a Peronoceros species, but it's got some nice little shells on it. Uh, very squished. But it might be worth it just to see if we can make it into a little display piece. Yeah, shame about that one in the uh, loose shell block, just to show you. Would have been a really big one, but shell preserved in the middle of up there, so not even worth trying to dig it out. Continues to be pretty sparse. One more, I'm not sure what it is. I think it might be a really worn down Hildy. Uh, yeah, that's about it. It's been very, very sparse. A few big bits of fairly nondescript ammonite, uh, but really, really limited. So I'm just about done in at least the initial first bay area. I'm going to keep looking through this uh, and try and see if there's anything else like an ammonite right there. Uh, but that's very water worn. Uh, it's just been a bit difficult. It's obviously not had a lot of fresh falls. Uh, and not a lot of storms have washed all this around and what is washed around is currently underneath sea foam so it's just been one of those days my first decent little deck and it's a double so that will go in the bag may not look like much but it's a little spiny ammonite uh, I would have thought that might be a fat Peronoceros Sibar Martin but uh, I was told that I've been identifying a few of them wrong and they might actually be uh, Catacelocerises uh, that just look a little different. But that'll come back, that looks nice. I feel like I point this rock out every time I come by with a giant piece of wood with lots and lots of shells and everything washed up against it. Uh, there's also a chunk of hildy there. Uh, there's another little bit of ammo just above it. Lots of bits around. I want more than bits though. Uh, sad Hildes. It's a shame. Could have been quite a big one too, but uh, alas. There's a little Hildy. Not much of one, but I think it could be okay. That has some promise as a nice Hildy. So you can see the edge running around there. The top there, which gives away that it's a Hildy. You can just whoop, see right here. The ridge in the middle and then the two the valleys on either side basically that give it away as a hill too. What I'm intrigued by is this little bit, whether this is part of that one or if it's a separate one. Because uh, I don't have any double hildies and I've seen a few people with double hildies from Raven's car, so maybe. But if nothing else, that'll be a good size hildy. And that looks like another Catacelocerus for sure. Look at how fat that is. Nice. Another one of those classic big lumps of Phyloceros. You can see all the leafy sutures and this one's kind of eroded away to see the calcite inside. Uh, you can see the, uh, the inner chamber is there. But I don't think that's worth taking home even though it looks kind of pretty. Uh, so that'll stay here. Just walking over the shipwreck as I get into the second bay. Uh, the foam doesn't seem to be quite so bad on this side. Uh, hopefully because of the direction of the wind. So maybe there'll be some other things. This bay tends to be where the rarest things come from in Raven's car. That and even further along, uh, out on that headland at Blue Whites. Uh, but we'll see what we can find. I've got some goodies to show you as well when I finish traversing all of this. 
and here's that little beauty I wanted to show you guys a nice pseudo Lyoceros uh, you do get a different species here called the Bulbiant species uh, of pseudo Lyoceros uh, but I don't think this is it looks like there might be too much of a gap between the outer wall and the inner ones but that might also just be because it's a little broken um, but we'll have a look see when we uh, can get that tidied up properly but I love them uh, game of spot the fossil it's not the usual adapt to the Osiris species Yeah, pretty little golden gramoceros. Some of the blue white sandstony stuff, you get some interesting bits of ammonites, but they tend to not preserve super well. Uh, it's a bit of a shame because that would have been uh, potentially quite a nice thing. I am, uh, how do I say this, supremely happy. I picked up a nodule, it just, it's looked nice. And it's one of those that you just have to tap. And so I did, and look at this thing inside. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous ammonite. Oh, that's gonna go straight to prep. Clambering back through the uh, sandstones and rocks, I head back towards the first bay. Just checking out all these piles of rocks, because you never know what you might find. And here's something I found. Ignore the blood, it's more sandstone slips and everything. Uh, I did wonder initially if this was a DAC or something else, but that looks very much like the ribs go straight across the keel. And if that's the case, that might be a Porpoiseros. Might be. Uh, I'll double check, but there's another one there as well, or another Ammonite there. Uh, so maybe. I don't have a Porpoiseros, I've always been looking for one. So it might just be one, maybe. Yeah, beautiful little spot this. So a fairly nice hildy still in the bedrock. I'm assuming that's probably also another hildy. A beautiful belemnite with phragmacone, another bit of belemnite there. Uh, but all in the bedrock, so they're all gonna stay here and someone else can enjoy them on their way. Yeah, I'm clearly very greedy. I'm disappointed by this one. It's another Catacelocerus, you can see by the section how fat it is. Uh, but preserved in the shell and already broken, so it's not worth trying to dig out. But it is a shame. Would love a better preserved one, or another better preserved one. A uh, decentish little deck. A little nick at the top here, but otherwise alright. Another alright little hildy. Bit broken around the edges, but the middle should be in this little section under the cap. Another little hildy by the looks of it. Yeah, could be okay. Hopefully in the middle, sir. That's gonna just about be it for me. I'm laughing because it's pissing it down with rain again. Uh, my welcome back to England after my holiday is uh, very typical uh, English weather. The Ravens guys were good. Uh, the first bay, the usual place that everyone comes to, is so heavily picked that even the normal Dax and Paranoceros species they just aren't here. Uh, they just we need some more storms to wash them out. But if you can get around the uh, the headland, the big fall, and into the second bay, there's still some goodies to be found. And when you find goodies at Raven's Card, they are good. Uh, and so I've got a beautiful at least one Catacelus area, it's probably several, uh, some nice hildies, uh, a nice pseudo Lyoceros, so some nice things. Uh, I'm not complaining for the first hunt back. Uh, now I'm going to have to just gear up to walk up that hill. Uh, and I'm not excited. Thanks a lot for coming along for this hunt and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.